Oh, six feet. <laughs> Get away. Where's your mask? Son of a gun. Look. There's your mask again. Lose money, bro. Okay, right here. Go, I'm gonna record you. Yeah, we're almost gonna start. So, today we're gonna talk about drills. So, traditionally, you would use the corded version. Um, as you can see, this one's pretty beat up. It's about, I wanna say, close to seven years old. Still running strong. The first thing to go on these is this, mainly because when you're mixing, it's on the ground, you wanna mix, rather than bend all the way over, a lot of the times this cord is here, then you just pull it up, so it gets beat up. But this was our first cordless uh, mixer. The main setback for the Milwaukee, to me, was the battery life. Uh, if you're mixing regularly, you're gonna go through about maybe one and a half batteries and the power it just it has the dial here on max it's nice and quiet so it's good if you don't need to like mix uh thick thick this is uh it doesn't have it doesn't have the dial it's all in the trigger so it starts off slow and then This was a little weird to get used to, but I really like it because now if you put it on the ground, I don't have to bend over all the way. Yeah, we're right here, bro. So, a little awkward to get used to, but the good thing is you can unscrew it, put it here, here, whatever. But once you put it on solid, weight wise, I want to say this one's a little heavier, but let's go and mix and see how it. Our favorite pedal, the level five. One good thing about the Milwaukee too that I forgot to mention is that the handle is adjustable, so you can adjust it to your comfort. Come closer. Mark. So this is the max. Oh, this one's bad. If you're trying to clean it fast and there's no clean it a couple times in the bucket. Hey, what's up guys? So I just finished spraying this house. I left the guys over there base coating. This is a nice orange peel. I did this three bedroom, two bath, in under an hour and a half, mixing my own mud using this sprayer, which is my favorite sprayer for houses this size, because it's so lightweight and compact, and it can spray really good as long as you thin out the mud. It's the RTX 1250 by Graco. The older model, but the, their older models are just freaking gold. I use this drill. I took it from the guys. I left them to Milwaukee, and I brought this. Over there while we were shooting the videos, we mix four cement base coat and over here I mixed about I want to say about seven buckets so it was a fully charged battery after four four plus seven guys eleven after eleven buckets let's see how much battery we have left so we still have the full three bars that just goes to show so you can get an idea of how how much buckets you can actually mix on site various materials but i recommend it if you're looking into cordless i recommend the dewalt rather than the milwaukee this model is way better than the original one that came out where it was like a dual handle and it was like super top heavy and i tried it out that one if you kind of just left the paddle in the mud 
like we do, you know how you just leave the paddle and the drill plugged in? It'd be so top heavy that it would tend to tip over. And when you're working on site, you want something that you can just leave, add more water or whatever. This gun is just like the cordless, the corded one, but it's cordless. So super handy. All right, guys, hope you like the review. Solid.